Hey everyone, today we're checking out the Sennheiser Sport True Wireless Earbuds and I'm going to be comparing them to the Momentum 3 True Wireless Earbuds. They are double the price, but basically I was hoping for a Momentum 3, but with a more secure fit. So join me today as we figure out if they do meet that expectation. So starting with the most important aspect of a training earbud, the fit and the design between the two buds is very similar. The Sport is a little bit chunkier overall, but the Sport do have larger wing tips as well as some cheeky new ear tips. So you get two types of ear tips. The focus tips are just a regular ear tip. The aware ear tips utilize what they call adaptable acoustics, very fancy name for just letting in some sound through the ear tips, which is a pretty unique feature for me. I've never seen this before. So Sennheiser advertised that it will minimize body borne noise, like hearing your own breathing or footsteps. So does it match that claim? Sort of, not really. Let me explain it here. So it works very well at obviously bringing some noise in. I would say it's kind of a cross between a pair like the AirPods with no ear tip and a regular earbud that has an ear tip. You're kind of halfway in between that with how much noise gets let in. And in my test in the gym, I could hear a lot going on. So I'll probably use the Focus ear tips in the gym to block out the annoying gym music. But as I tested it with some running, it's great to have an earbud like this where you can have an in-ear design. So you get a nice full sound with a lot of bass but you can still kind of hear surroundings. It definitely works great for that, but does it get rid of the noise you make when walking or running? At least for me, it didn't because even though the ear tips do minimize this body borne sound, they don't have any suction, which some ear tips do have, the actual chunk of the earbud is still gonna bounce up and down in your ear canal and that's gonna make noise in your ears. So I'm yet to test an in-ear earbud that can completely get rid of noise. I don't think that it can happen. So a bit of a hit and miss, you might be wondering why they just don't use a transparency mode like most earbuds. I'll tell you why, because the transparency mode on Sennheiser earbuds is not very good at blocking, it basically doesn't block out any wind noise coming through the microphone. So if, even if you're walking on a very, like not even a windy day, the wind from moving forward will come in through the microphones and it's pretty loud, it's pretty annoying. And that's most likely why they don't have a transparency mode on these. So that's the ear tips. Now, how secure do the buds stay in my ear? With the larger wing tip, that was a 10 out of 10 security. The buds barely budged out. I didn't have to readjust them. The only issue with that is it just created a lot of pain in my right ear due to that wing tip kind of digging into my upper ear part thing. It just created a lot of discomfort after about 20 minutes. So with the size down, they're not as secure. They're about a nine out of 10 security now but there's no pain at all now with the smaller wing tips. Now compared to the Momentum 3, they're about an eight out of 10 security for me with just the largest wing tip that they have, which is a lot smaller. So for me, the Momentum 3, they're one of my go-to training buds because of their sound quality, which is what I kind of want to get out of the Sport True Wireless here. So slightly better security on the Sport, but Momentum 3, very close. We shall find out if they dethrone the Momentum 3 soon. And the Sport do win in the IP rating area. So they have an IP 5.4 rating. So five standing for dust, four standing for water resistance. So the Momentum 3 doesn't have any dust resistance. If you're a dusty person, you're sorted. Well, you're not a, a dusty, you're a person that is in dust, dusty areas. Maybe you are a dusty person, I don't know. Now with battery life, you're getting nine hours from the earbuds on the Sport, 27 hours in total with the case. With the Momentum, seven hours with the buds, 28 hours in total. And in my testing at 70% volume on an iPhone XS, I got nine hours and 11 minutes on the Sport, eight hours and nine minutes on the Momentum 3. Keep in mind, that's with noise cancelling on, on the Momentum 3. So pretty close there overall. And the Momentums are a smaller bud. Both pairs also have fast charge, so chuck the buds in the case for 10 minutes, you get an hour's playback, but only the Momentum 3 have wireless charging. Now in terms of the case size here, both are very chunky. The Sport is smaller, but kind of chunkier in a way than the Momentum 3, but you do have the option to chuck a lanyard on the case there, so you can keep that on your bag or wrist or wherever you want to put your case if you use one of those. What I thought would have been a good utilization of that lanyard loop there was to allow, like have some ear tips resting in like a little bag or something so you can easily switch between the focus and aware ear tips. Otherwise, you got to carry those ear tips around with you. It might be easy to get lost. So you can probably make your own little pouch or something. Now controls here, the exact same as usual from Sennheiser. You have the option to control everything, including volume up and down, and you can customize all these controls in the app great sensitivity, you just don't get any any detection, so auto pause and play on the sport. Now connectivity, you got Bluetooth 5.2, 
SBC, AAC, and Aptex on both pairs, but it's only the Momentum 3 that have Aptex Adaptive, which can give you slightly higher quality streaming if you have an Android device with the right streaming server. So a pretty niche thing, not terrible, Aptex is fine. The Momentum 3 do have multi-device connection, so you can have two devices connected to the earbuds at the same time. The Sport doesn't have this. To connect another device to the Sport, you've got to disconnect from the old one and then connect to the new one. Not as intuitive. Another small issue here with the Sport is the single earbud use. So you can use one earbud while the other rests in the case, but it's pretty slow to switch. Also it doesn't work in mono mode. So if you're using just one earbud, the left earbud, for example, you're only gonna hear the left audio channel coming out of that earbud. So you're gonna miss out on some potential sounds and music where on the Momentum 3, if you use one earbud, the right or left, it doesn't matter, you hear the left and right audio channels in that one earbud. Now in terms of latency, watching videos, movies, all that stuff, no issues at all. With gaming, here are the results I got in my latency test. Generally, if you're around 200 milliseconds for gaming, that's as low as it gets. As long as you're below 400 milliseconds for casual games, you'll be fine. Now let's jump on outside and see how the microphones compare. All right, so here we are in the outside world with the Sennheiser Sport True Wireless. It's pretty quiet. I'm at a park here right now, but there are some cars zooming around behind me. So hopefully you can hear my voice well. Cars are getting blocked out. All right, so here we are with the Sennheiser Momentum 3 True Wireless earbuds. And in my experience with testing many earbuds, these easily have one of the best overall microphones when it comes to clarity as well as blocking out noise. So. Let me know how you think they compare in the comments below. Now, I normally talk about noise cancelling. The Momentum obviously have it. The Sport do not have it. At their price, like you don't really expect it, but also, I don't know, it could have been there, but they went for the focus aware route. Also do want to mention that when you do have focus mode on or aware mode on, you have to go on the app and change the setting. And all that does is actually change the way the earbuds sound because the ear tips affect the sound quality. So if you have like aware on with the focus mode on, it just sounds like really ba bassy and bloated. So keep that in mind. But now onto the sound quality itself, uh, I'd say the second most important feature with the training earbud, you want a nice energetic sound, I say. And that's exactly what you're getting here. It's a very solid, bass boosted but balanced tuning with a decent amount of energy. Now the bass is boosted more in the mid bass, can get a little bit over the top and bloated at certain times. There is still a nice amount of sub bass. I'm rating it a 7.5 out of 10 on my subwoofer scale. The mid range here is slightly recessed, kind of the usual mid range you are getting on a Sennheiser earbud. So vocals never really fall behind too far. They're just not very forward in their tuning. So instrumentation and the upper mids are also slightly dialed back, but still they come across very clear. I'd say the treble is the star of the show here. It's boosted quite a bit. It has a pretty bright sound overall. So things like hi-hats, cymbals, crashes, acoustic guitar all come through very clear with nice presence. And at the same time, it doesn't get too harsh at all. So overall, very solid. But how does it compare to the Momentum 3? Because on the Sennheiser website, they have the same seven millimeter true response transducer. So I'm like, is it the same sound? Does it have the same EQ options? I don't know. And it turns out they sound pretty close to the Momentum 3, but the Momentum 3, easily better. The Momentum, they're basically the sport here. Just better in every way. You get more boost in the sub bass, the mid bass isn't as bloated, the mid range is more clear, and the treble has extra sparkle and extra detail. It's not just that though. The actual main reason I bought the Sport here is for the bass boost option that the Momentum 3 have. They push that bud to nine, almost 10 out of 10 subwoofer scale bass levels that are just great when training, when going for a heavy lift, just to push yourself when you need a little bit of extra motivation. And for whatever reason, the Sport don't have the bass boost EQ option. I don't know. It's a training, I, I just thought it would. It's not there. You can adjust the EQ and increase the bass, bring the mids down, the treble up, but it doesn't really respond that well to EQ. The Momentum 3 respond a lot better. The Sport here, kind of the volume comes down a bit. You lose a lot of detail and you just really can't get it to base levels anywhere near the Momentum 3. So yeah, that's a pretty big issue and you can probably tell now, sadly, these will not be taking over the Momentum 3. They're still my go-to training bud with their base boost AQ. Another small issue is overall volume. You get about two extra clicks of volume on the Momentum 3. The sports still go decently loud enough. The last two clicks are 
kind of in hearing loss territory. So still loud enough, but if you're really crazy, Momentum 3 go a lot louder. But now I'm gonna explain the sound a little bit further with my genre checklist to let you know how the earbuds sound with certain genres. Like I said, the tuning here, bass boosted the balance. So you're getting just enough bass for any kind of genre with instrumentation, jazz, classical. It can get a little bit bloated with that mid bass. But when it comes to trap dubstep, hard style, EDM, all that stuff that requires a little bit of extra bass, this is where the Momentum 3's bass boost EQ really shines. It just works a lot better with those genres. The sports still sound pretty good. You're not really gonna miss anything, especially with hard style trap and dubstep where that sub bass can hit really low. Momentum 3 to sound better. Also on the sport with rock and metal, the low end from distorted guitars can get a little bit bloated on certain songs. This isn't all songs. It's just gonna be if a song is mastered a certain way. This is also the same with side trance. A lot of mid bass with like drops and side trance kind of in the background. This is where that muddiness of the mid bass is also kind of shown a little bit extra on the sport. Momentum 3 handles it all a lot better. But look, just wrapping it up here, the sport are coming in at under half the price of the Momentum 3. The main pro here is if you are a runner, you wanna train with hearing things around you with an in-ear earbud, these are the only earbud that really do it. So they're gonna be great for you, but that wraps it up. If you want to check out the Momentum 3 a little bit extra, here's my review here, so check it out. In the meantime, stay picky. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.